Hey there, friends. You there. You are not of our enemy's dark design. Get to the surface and report to Elhan immediately. Okay, whoever that is. Whoa! We shall drive you back, Dark Ones. There'll be no tolerance of your underdark ways. Oh, we just seem to have stumbled upon another huge fight. Uh-oh, I see an enemy caster. Let's dive into the fray, everyone. Go, team, go! Wait, they're all hostile now? Oh, crap, how did we do that? Well, that's bad. Alright, well, this is not going to work out well, so Carrot is going to have to uh, bring in the Abidalzim's hard wilting. And you know what? We're going to have Imwin do the same thing. Well, that wiped them out pretty fast. I have no idea why the other elves turned hostile. They must have thought that we were drow or other enemies, I don't know. It's unfortunate, but that's war for you. Alright, let's try not to ruin things here. Flee this place, lest you fall as casualty of circumstance. Get to the service and report to Elhand. He will see you to safety. Um, these are drow. You can't let them pull this crap. Get them! You might want to drink a healing potion. There you go. What a mess. Looks like there's quite a bit of search here. Oh, apparently a lot of old drow equipment that was just left laying around in these old halls. Including some stuff over here. Oh, bits and pieces. Anyway, we definitely need to keep moving if we're gonna get out of here on a timely basis. Jump on my sword while you can, Eva. I won't be a shadow. Hmm. Well, it looks like there's really only one way out of here, so uh, let's let's take it. Here we go. As much as you have traveled. These last few feet to the surface have seemed the longest trek by far. Your relief at seeing the light of the sky is palpable, even though you are not really fleeing the black of the Underdark, rather, the constant treachery. Unfortunately, even though the setting has changed, your immediate future still looks to be far from peaceful. This area has been a staging ground for many recent battles. And judging from the faces of the beleaguered elven soldiers that now approach, there may be more to come. Oh, great. We shall never surrender the hardwoods. I speak the common tongue that you might hear and be warned. All that breach the surface will be fought back. Wait, you are... you are no drow. You should not be in this area. Are you a collaborator? Have you betrayed the surface world to the devils below? Alright. Here does not want to give uh, give it away here. He doesn't want to fight either. He doesn't want to talk to them yet. He would just say, I do not answer to you or anyone else. I've been through hell. And I'm in a foul mood. You will cooperate if you have a brain in your head. You are in a bad position, having just emerged from the very lair of the enemy. My commander shall decide your worth. You will be taken to him. Do not resist. 
I will not waste time when the deeds of Renicus grow more foul each day. Would he cooperate, though? I suppose he doesn't really have a choice, surrounded by soldiers. He obviously needs a bit pressed for time as well. I have my own concerns that I must act on quickly. This meeting must be brief. Your fate will be decided shortly. You will remain under guard until Alhan sees you. Make no move. You will be watched closely. Fantastic. That's just what we wanted to hear. Quiet down, Minsk. Welcome. Yes, welcome. I'll have you know I do not trust you. I have no reason to trust you. I do not feel that I have to trust you. No doubt the same applies from your perspective. So, with that admission out of the way, are you going to tell me what this is about? No, I am not. I am merely here to look at you. You arrived from the depths, and I wish to see if the darkness was in your eyes. I am undecided. Elhan will see to you. He will make sure you are comfortable, and that you will reveal what you must of yourself. He is experienced, and he has knowledge of the enemy. Mind that you obey him. Regardless of your intent, if you attack any of my elves here, I will have you killed on the spot. We are legion. Rest assured. Wasn't that comforting? Well, I thank you for coming. Well, finally, someone's polite around here. Alright, well, considering that the leader here at least seems to be polite, uh, thank you for proving friendly. I was not looking forward to another fight. Yes, well, I am here to determine exactly what is it that you were looking for. A battle may yet be warranted. I shall keep this brief as I have little time to waste on you. A few questions are all I need, regardless. Carrot's going to be a bit uppity here and say, You will get no answers from me if I am to be your prisoner. I mean, the party has become very powerful at this point, and Carrot is not... Yes, they're outnumbered, but damn it! They've already put up with all this, and now they're getting hassled by these goddamn elves? Just starting to get on his nerves. I would advise you to answer truthfully and completely. No answer is an answer it's in itself, placing you firmly in league with our enemies. I will ask some things of you, and you will speak what you know. My sages will detect any falsehood. They are very good at that sort of thing. Now then, something simple and direct to begin with. You emerged from the home of the drow. Were you fleeing, or are you in league with them? Alright, Kaird uh, sticking with his... He's being a bit prideful. I mean, they just fought through the Underdark and survived. He would say, I left them bloody and battered. I did not flee. Truth. I concur. Truth. A truth. Well, a good start. You are currently not an ally of the Drow. This tells me nothing of your motives, though. Let us continue. A name, then, that you may know something of. Irenicus. Do you know of him? Oh, what would Carrot wish to reveal? These guys are probably trained to recognize lies and falsehoods, so he doesn't want to lie, but he doesn't want to give away what's going on either. Because frankly, I mean, who who knows what these good people could be up to? He doesn't want to do something like this where they let them know what's going on. My business with Aranicus is my own concern. Strong truth. Very much so. The association is clear. So you admit to knowledge of a fiend and a criminal. I will have to push this further. Perhaps you are a window to his plans. Shall we try to determine how much you know, how far your association goes? 
Are you in league with Irenicus? How would he respond to this? Sarcasm? No. Just vehement anger? Uh, he has plenty of reason to hate Irenicus. And he doesn't know that these elves necessarily are against Irenicus. They might actually be an ally of Irenicus as far as he's concerned. So, I guess just the very mention of Irenicus would make Carid just seethe with anger so much, considering everything that he's done against him and the rest of the party, that he would just suddenly uh, let his anger slip out and say, No, I seek his greasy black heart on a pike, and I grow tired of you delaying it. Absolute truth. No doubt at all on both answers. Well, that is somewhat reassuring. Your bloodlust certainly illustrates your true feelings about him. This has put me more at ease. Whatever manner of creature you are, we are on the same side in this instance, at least. Hmm. Well, Carrot would probably want to rush this along then and say, Are we done then? No offense, but I have things I must do. You are certainly less of a threat than I first imagined, but do not think you are welcome as of yet. This area is still at risk, and I will not take chances. For now I will appraise you of the situation, and you will realize why travel in this area is to be restricted. You might have received a warmer welcome, but Arenicus has triggered the strongest of emotions where'er he has tread. He has stepped beyond all bounds of decency, and our very city is under the weight of his thumb. Sultan Nisselar is simply gone. Irenicus is the most vile of villains if he dared destroy a whole city. I can't believe that, and I believe some amazing things, let me tell you. It's only been concealed, but we cannot penetrate the magics that have hidden it. We are forced to remain here, pestered by drow while supplies falter. Hmm. What would he reveal to them? If anything. Well, obviously they're seeking uh, Irenicus as well, and they say they can't find Sultan Nesselar because of them. Now, well, he wouldn't ask something as simple as, what is this to do with me? He would explain what was going on in the Underdark. Drow that were incited by Irenicus, and the bargains he made in the Underdark. Of course, the party would be aware of this, as Adelon had hinted uh, this to him before. Truth. Yes, he knows much of this. It would seem your travels have given you quite a bit of insight into the plans Irenicus has made. I wonder if you might be of service to us. Well, I might be, if you think you can trust me. You obviously bear no love for Irenicus, making you the enemy of our enemy. Classically speaking, this might make you our friend. And even if you are not, you cannot reach Irenicus without helping us. He is untouchable, save for one possibility. Within the temple was an artifact of great power, the Rin Lanthorn. It is an ancient lantern etched with the oldest of runes. The Lanthorn is attuned to the Elven Nation, and no magic can bar its return to Elven lands. We could simply walk to Sultan Lissalar if we had possession of it. S someone's <coughs> Someone stole the relic when the temple fell to the drow. Obviously, it was the servant of Irenicus, capitalizing on the chaos of the battle. We have not been able to determine where the thief went, despite the best efforts of our sages. It makes me think that the Lanthorn is no longer in elven territory. Well, this is a very mercenary answer, but that's not what he would say. Alright, now, Carrot suspects Bodhi might be involved, but he has no proof of this, so he's not going to mention her. He would say, I don't know who it is for sure, but I might be able to look outside Elven territory for you. If you're able to guide me to where Arenicus is, that is. Truth. Just let out a heavy sigh and say, yes, as I said. Perhaps you will be able to help in our search after all. You seem to know much about Arenicus, and who might be working for him. I propose a trade of service. Uh, 
Alright, he's going to try to uh, insist that it would help if I knew what was really going on here. I cannot say more than I have. Perhaps if I have access to the city I would have insight, but as it stands, I am in, in the same situation as you are. The attack came without warning, born in the mind of a human we did not know. This was not in the realm of possibility, and it remains as such. He has dealt with Drow, defiled our temple, and violated our city. His name is to be spit and spoken of as rarely as possible. He is all that the elves are not. If you know how to find the treacherous servant of this fiend, I suggest that you do it. You seek Irenicus. We seek Irenicus. To help us is to help yourself. Find the Lanthorn. Seek outside Elven lands and whatever location you think an important servant of Irenicus would be. Only then will we reach this man. Hmm. And what can you do for me to aid in this? We cannot march on human territory. As great as our problems are, they would only get worse if we appeared to be sending agents into the cities of Almond. Oi, without the help, our task will be easier said than done, and I know how easy it is to say things. You have traveled extensively, return to the groups you have already encountered, and ask their aid. I am sure you will find some among them to help you. They need not know the nature of the emergency, only that a great evil must be routed. The less who know of the shame brought by Irenicus, the better. Hmm. What is this? What shame? What shame has he caused you? It is not your concern. His deeds will be apparent when we reach him. Until then, you should begin your task. They need not know the nature of the emergency, only that a great evil must be routed. The less you know of the shame brought by Irenicus, the better. Well, that's the thing. Would Carrot want to assume it was Bodhi? I mean, because they have been working together. And she is an accomplished magic user and thief. And a vampire. I guess he would say, can you help with special supplies? Holy water and stakes come to mind. I have such things. The water is exceptionally potent and will prove effective against those that wrong the temple. The wealth of Evelyn gods is in each vial. Copyright. It sounds as though you know the nature of the creature you must face. Your service is now doubly appreciated. Uh, I still have reservations about this, but I have little choice, it would seem. We have talked long. I will make sure the guards know you are free to come and go. All speed to you, Cara de Rey. And go away, Elven War Sages, you jerks. And we lose an item and get an item. Uh, ah yes, our Pawafli cloak has disintegrated to do a pile of adamantine dust. Well then, we obviously don't need that. We have three vials of elven holy water, specially made to combat vampires, as it is reasonable for the party to assume that vampires are the ones behind all of this. Alright, Minsk, you will be our Vampire Slayer, considering you have equipment that protects you against the vampiric drain of the vampires. So there you go, buddy. Have fun. Alright, well that was an interesting little conversation. Oh, yes. Let's get back to Amon already, if that's even possible. Not even sure where we are. Oh, wow. We're all the way down here in this Underdark exit, down near Watcher's Keep. There's the Underdark and Bryn Law and the Asylum and everything all over here. Apparently there are some other areas that have been opened up. North Forest, the Small Teeth Pass, and the Forest of Tethyr. Interesting. I wonder where we'll go next then. Hmm. Well, either way, this is something that Carrot and the rest of the group are going to have to think about. What is their next move? They finally have escaped the Underdark. He suspects that Bodhi and her ilk are the ones that may have stolen the Rind Lanthorn from the elves, which is the only way they're going to be able to find elven lands again. And the question is, what does he want to do? What's coming in his mind is, well, we could just return to the city, resupply, and then go uh, to Bodhi's lair, 
probably after speaking with some allies, like perhaps, um, oh, who would they talk to? Maybe some of the knights or some of the priests here could ask some government figures. Could ask the shadow thieves who they allied with earlier. That might be possible. They could ask some people, or they could just do it themselves because the party is strong. Well, why not? Hmm, not sure. We'll see. And alternatively, instead of just chasing Bodhi on a following that instinct, we could try to actually find the Elven City themselves, go into these other forested areas and try to track it down. That is definitely an option as well. Here it isn't sure what he wants to do next. It's something he's going to think about. Whether he wants to return to Athkatla and do as uh, the commander here suggested, or whether he wants to explore the wilderness out here himself, try to find the elven lands. Alright, so that's going to have to be for next session. I hope everyone has enjoyed watching uh, this session. Uh, we'll continue now that uh, the party is out of the uh, Underdark at another time. Thanks, and see you all later. Bye-bye.